Alright, gold in US dollars, guys. X A U U S D. I've been following this one for a while. Man, look at that stage two it had back then. Whoa. Mother of all stage twos. Look at that, man. This 2002, never stop. Pull back, pull back, back to breakout line of this sideways continuation pattern. And look at that. It keeps coming up, guys. These parabolic advances, these too steep to be maintained advances. You know what? I always see these tweezers, especially on the monthly. Tweezers, man. Trend halt, sideways move, reversal. But this is, this is so violent, man. Japanese candlesticks. If there's a two I like, is a Marabuzu candles, the one that close uh, to the top with no selling pressure. And these, these tweezers, man. Sideways move. Smaller tweezers. And that's all she wrote, guys. Okay, here we are today, man, with gold. It had a false, a few breakouts here, failed breakouts. Monthly candle would have avoided you that that noise. This, or more of these. And what you want to do is you want to wait for the monthly candle close to close above 1350 to have that to confirm that that's the base and that you'll be adding that measure move on top there you go something like that back to previous what i call a wall previous support and now if it's busted it becomes resistance that's a nice place to exit right before that it's part of my target considerations profit con uh, target considerations <clears throat> sorry you want to make sure that you're on the right side of the round number on the right side of the potential resistance on way to target and you that's the way to do it but right now, that's not the scenario, guys. Failed, 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 failed. And now in the monthly, what it's telling us is patterns within patterns, tops, implied measure moves, added to breakout line, reaching their targets, make your bigger patterns. So this target has been reached for this top pattern right here. And uh, June, candle of June, close below, target, on route to target, almost hit it. So I don't know what's going to happen here. Are we going to go test this support all the way to 11.50? Don't know. But what I do know is, all I want to do is I want to confirm the trend right here. I know there might be some resistance, some support here. But when we zoom in on the weekly and we do some Stan Weinstein, what do we have? Ooh, Mansfield indicator. One of the first things I look at. It's red if it's below the zero line. That's a stand criteria check. Declining MA stand required check and below the close below the MA check. So it's red and it's declining and really getting far away from the zero line compared to the SPX. What other check do we need? Well, we want to be below the Ichimoku cloud. That's last the last line of support. Stan says to look for close overhead so, oh, or under support if you're doing looking right at stage four. And how I define it is using the Ichimoku cloud. So you're out of it. Monthly trend, confirm breakdown. Guys, man, this is a uh, stage four. The only thing I could see right now. Uh, Man, I'd like to have a pullback to the breakdown line. 
maybe continuation. It, like it's gonna happen, guys. A pullback. You don't go straight to somewhere f far away like that. It could be a pullback, and then we'll see where the real breakdown line was. Because that breakdown line will now be uh, resistance. It's what I call wild support turn resistance. And is it up here? Was that the last breakdown line? Last pattern? Is it this one here? And this weekly defines the support. We'll see. We'll see if it pulls back here. That means that was this. That was an important support. If it goes through it like butter, goes to the next level, then we know that was more important support. And then you're gonna start whatever happens here for the next few candles, guys. Oh, look at the far how far you are from three weeks away. So that's gonna keep dragging it down. That's the trend. Don't play up when this is going down, guys, because for you need a lot of price action above for it to turn around. See before it starts turning around, all these weeks you have to spend above while you're declining and flattening out. Same thing here. Bounce off. You want to make sure that you have everything, the trends in favor. But this looks like a short, might have missed it by a few weeks because it was confirmed in June, the breakdown. But um, if you could wait maybe for a pullback. So on a pullback there, the way you want to see and play is you never want to short if the Mansfield relative strength is going up. So you have to wait. Then it starts pulling uh, starts pulling back up. Up. You don't short you don't short again. How do you know the pullback's complete? The Mansfield's gonna start going down. Then wherever that price action is, you know that was the 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 the, the high of the pullback. And then when it starts going down, then you could short. All right, if the pullback was on light green volume, then you'd want to short on, on the way down. If it was on heavy volume, the pullback, uh, no, not good. So this could be a good a good region where to short eventually. So that's it for XAU, guys. Monthly confirmed breakdown already within that's bigger range. And expect maybe some resistance, uh, some support right here, 1150. So best a scenario pullback, then short all the way down to these monthly defined uh, support levels. And see how, how it behaves. All right, guys. See ya. Ciao.